Midwest Outdoors. I'm Mark Alberton. Today I'm with Dr. Gary Sin. We're here in Aiken. And tell us about the facility we're at and, and where we are today. Good to see you, Dr. Sin. It's good to see you too. Thank, Thank you, you for coming. The Ruth Patrick Science Education Center is here as a, an outreach for the university to the K-12 environment. So, and also to the, to the general public. So we focus many of our programs on, on K-12 students. They come here on field trips during the year. We also do a number of activities for the teachers. We do courses for teachers, we do professional development workshops. Then we also, in our outreach to the community, have a number of things, including the observatory where we are now and the planetarium. People have always looked up at the stars. It's an amazing thing to see, and, and we miss a little bit of it today because most of us live near uh, cities where there are lots of lights, and we don't get to see that pristine sky like the early people did. So early on, they noticed that the stars appeared to move across the sky, and they began to study them. They noticed, as you mentioned, they used them to help travel, to know what direction they were going. So we know the North Star stays in the same location because of how our planet uh, rotates on its axis. That axis points to the North Star, and so that star stays in the same place as the other ones move across the sky. Then we also uh, noticed early on that the astronomers saw five stars that wandered among the rest, and they called them the Wanderers. And that name, Wanderer, is actually, the, the, the root name is um, Planet. So we get our name Planet from what they called wandering stars. And it wasn't until much later that we understood that planets are bodies that orbit around our star. So the word Planet comes from wandering star. Very interesting. You know, and, and being at this facility, you gave me a little tour when I first got here. It's phenomenal. Um, Aiken and the CSRA should be very proud to have this facility here. Tell me a little bit about what we saw downstairs when we came in. There was, a, there was a room down there and it was very dark when we went in because there was a class going on. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, that is the DuPont Planetarium. And in the planetarium, we have a 30-foot dome. And on that dome, we can duplicate what you would see in the night sky. Now, the nice thing there is whether it's rainy or shiny or dark or light, you can put the stars up on the dome and see them. So that planetarium is a state-of-the-art system that we got back in 1995. Uh, the technology has improved and we are actually looking to update that, but it's still a wonderful uh, instrument that we have to put up the star field that you saw. We do shows for the public every Saturday. So if you were to come Saturdays during the winter time, 7 and 8 p.m., uh, during the summer with the, the sun being up later in the night, we have our shows at 8 o'clock and 9 o'clock p.m. And the reason we do that change is because we have our observatory here open after our public shows. And we want people to take advantage of that. During the summer, the sun sets later, so we have later shows so that way when they leave the show, they can come on up here to the planetarium and see through our, our wonderful Bechtel telescope that we have here with us today. About 10 years ago, some friends of ours from, friends of mine from Atlanta uh, were looking for a place that we could build a, a telescope observatory, a place that we could go outdoors and where the city lights didn't affect us and um, where, you know, where we could build a, a place where we could come out and for the weekend and, and observe the skies. Um, we uh, started looking around for land in North Georgia and, and Alabama and, and different places around the country where the skies were relatively dark. Um, as dark as they can be for the east coast of the United States. Um, and we couldn't find anything of an acre or two acres of size. All we could find is a really large, large plots of land. Um, so we ended up purchasing this land in, in Sharon, Georgia, which is about 100 acres. Uh, and we ended up developing it into a, a real community. Um, homes and cabins and uh, rental sites and campgrounds for people to come out for the weekend and, and uh, see, the, see the skies. So, um, you know, my background is photography. I, I really enjoy um, photography and, and, and astrophotography is the photographing the night sky is um, probably one of the most challenging uh, photographic endeavors you can get into. 
Um, it's very complicated because what we're doing is we're photographing objects that are very, very far distant objects away. Um, we're having to photograph them over a long period of time, over a six or eight hour period of time, while we're in constant motion. The Earth is constantly rotating. So the equipment that it takes to track an object to go across the sky while you're photographing at the same time um, can be kind of is complex and can and is very sophisticated. So um, this is uh, um, my one of my setups. I have several. Um, this is a, a telescope mount, a telescope. This is a refractor telescope, which is basically a just a large camera lens. And this is a camera that's made specifically for um, uh, photography for astrophotography.